Ice breaking ships are built to withstand the worst conditions imaginable, and in their quest for strength and endurance, some pretty incredible vessels have been built. Here are the 10 most amazing ice breaking ships in the world. Number 10 US CGC Polar Sea. The Polar Sea was built in Seattle by the Lockheed Shipbuilding and Construction Company and put into service in 1977. Believe it or not, it is still in use today. It is one of only two ships of its class in the world. The Polar Sea can break through ice as thick as six feet at a speed of three knots. She has a length of 399 feet and a displacement of 13,194 long tons. There are 24 officers, 20 chief petty officers, and a total of 102 crew members on board. The facilities come equipped with four big lounges, a library, a fitness center, and a convenience store. There's a U.S. post office there, as well as satellite phones, radio gear, a picture lab, a movie library, and more. All sorts of fields are studied on board from geology, volcanology, oceanography, and more. Hopefully this old ship has plenty of life left in her. Number 9. RRS Sir David Attenborough The RRS Sir David Attenborough is one of the most high-tech and cutting-edge polar research ships in the world. On November 17, 2021, the vessel embarked on its maiden journey, setting sail from the United Kingdom. On November 27, 2020, shipyard Camel Lard handed over the ship to NERC and Bass, and in October 2020, technical trials and scientific equipment testing began. This state-of-the-art research platform will revolutionize the way ship-borne science is carried out in the polar regions by giving scientists access to the oceans, seafloor, ice, and atmosphere. The ship has a total cargo capacity of 900 cubic meters and is designed to transport two helicopters at the same time. The Royal Research Ship Sir David Attenborough has a beam of 79 feet and an overall length of 423 feet. It is constructed with living quarters for a crew of 30, as well as accommodations for 60 research employees. Number 8. S.A. Agulahaz 2. It is a multi-purpose vessel that may find service as an icebreaker, research or supply vessel, or as a cruise ship. It was produced in Finlandia in 2012 and sails under the flag of South Africa. She is used to transport researchers and their gear as part of the South African National Antarctic Program. She has a range of 28,000 kilometers, room for 100 passengers and 45 crew members, and measures 134 meters in length and 22 meters in width is 12,800 tons and her capacity for cargo is 4,700 tons. It can reach a top speed of 16 knots and has four engines that produce a total of 16,000 horsepower. Number 7. The Yamal. The Yamal is one of the few icebreakers that have made the journey to the North Pole. It did so as part of a cruise to celebrate the millennium and arrived in time for the 1st of January in the year 2000 with a full complement of paying passengers. During the time of the Soviet Union, Russia had made plans to create an icebreaker called the Yamal that would be fueled by nuclear reactors. She is the newest of the five Artika class ships that were constructed beginning in the middle of the 1970s. The keel of the ship was laid in 1986 in St. Petersburg, but by the time she was launched in October 1992, communism in Russia had already been brought to its knees. Like many other Russian icebreakers, the Yamal is now hired out for different jobs, mostly for tourists, to bring in the hard currency that Russia needs so badly. The original function of these structures, which was to keep northern navigational channels open during the winter, is now not that important. Number 6. Chariz. It was made in Japan in 2008, and it is currently flying the flag of Japan when it is at sea. It has a length of 138 meters and a width of 28 meters, and it is used for trips to the Antarctic. It is operated by the Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force, and it is fitted with defensive equipment and a curved bow with better icebreaker capacity. It can house a total of 180 crew members and 80 scientists. It can carry 1,100 tons of weight and has a displacement of 20,000 tons. It is able to reach speeds of over 19 knots because of its four powerful engines, which together produce a total of 30,000 horsepower. Number 5. Victor Chernomyridin. 
The Victor Chernomyridin, which is also a Russian icebreaker, was made at the Admiralty Shipyard in St. Petersburg. This shipyard is located in the city of St. Petersburg. She has four diesel engines that can each make 8,700 kilowatts of electricity. This makes her the most powerful and biggest diesel electric icebreaker Russia has ever built. It has an overall length of 482 feet, a beam of 94 feet, and a draft of between 28 and 31 feet, giving it a displacement of 22,000 tons. Not only is the Victor Chernomaridin capable of providing icebreaker escorts, but it can also take part in Arctic research trips, transport containers and goods, and function as a ship that puts out fires. The ship's strong diesel-powered equipment provides the crew with enough power to sail unaided for up to 60 days. Number 4. Tamir It was built in Finland in 1988, but flies the flag of the Russian Federation when it sets sail. This icebreaker is very strong and was built for the Soviet Union. It is powered by nuclear energy. It can run through ice up to 2 meters thick allowing it to carry out activities along Arctic coastal lines. It is 150 meters in length and 29 meters in width, has a gross tonnage of 20,700 tons and has a cargo capacity of 3,500 tons. It is equipped with a heliport and various facilities for the crew. It can accommodate 138 people. It is equipped with one nuclear reactor that generates 59,600 horsepower and has the ability to achieve speeds above 18 knots. Number 3. 50 Let Pobody The 50 Let Pobody, whose name translates to 50 years since victory in Russian, is a massive icebreaker. It belongs to an older series of Artika class icebreakers, not the newer series described above, and its sister ship, the NS Yamal, has already been discussed. She has a length of 525 feet 160 meters, and a gross tonnage of over 23,000 tons. After starting in 1989, construction of the ship was halted in the early 1990s as the Soviet Union collapsed. She started her first trip in 2007, after having completed it in 2003. Because of her massive size, she can crack ice up to 16.4 feet in thickness. The ship has two nuclear reactors for propulsion and a top speed of 21.6 knots. Number 2. Kapitan Dranison Another Russian vessel made the list of the top 10 icebreakers, the Kapitan Danasan. Its overall length is roughly 423.3 feet and its beam is 87.1 feet. It has been converted into a passenger vessel with a capacity to carry 100 passengers and is outfitted with public accommodations that include extensive lounges, bars, a library, and other recreational facilities. It is propelled by six Wartila Solsa engines, which collectively provide around 18,000 horsepower. Number 1. Artika The Artika is one of Russia's most recent nuclear-powered icebreakers. At the moment, it is the icebreaker ship that holds the titles of largest and most powerful in the world. Artika is 570 feet long and stands 168 feet tall at its highest point. This gives the crew a clear view of their surroundings and the ice below. With a draft of 10.5 meters, the ship can displace roughly 33,000 tons of water. It can reach a top speed of 22 knots thanks to its nuclear turboelectric and maintain a speed of at least 1.5 to 2 knots while breaking ice up to 9 feet thick. That's all for today, but if you want to see another video like this, then be sure to click the link on the screen now. We'll see you in the next one.